Hi everybody, welcome to Dashna YouTube channel. So today I am going to discuss one important question, uh, one of the previous year question. Let's go into the question. And this question especially I took from the chapter electrochemistry and one of the relevant chapter of chemistry. See, this is a question. Let me read this question. The molar conductivity of a solution of a weak acid, weak acid, the concentration is given, and it is 10 times molar than molar conductance of a solution of weak acid HY. HY. So the question is, weak acid, the molar conductance is 10 times smaller than HY. If lambda naught x minus is nearly equal to lambda naught y minus, the difference in their pKa values, difference in their pKa value is. So this portion actually we have to calculate. This portion we have to calculate. Consider degree of ionization of both acid is less than 1. So these are the options given here. So actually this is an integer type question. Okay, this is what are the clue here given? Lambda m, see, this is the clue, that is lambda hx. Molar conductivity of hx is 10 times smaller than, which means that 1 by 10 times lambda hy. Okay, this is the clue that they have given. This is the clue that they have given. And this is another point. And from finally, we have to calculate this portion. Okay, this is actually a question uh, from taken from the electrochemistry, especially connecting the concepts called Rush's law and its applications that is calculating degree of uh, dissociation as well as the dissociation constant. And from the dissociation constant, further we concluding, we are getting this equation that will be the final answer. So in order to solve this uh, question, let me take this part. This part I am going to take and with that, uh, let me derive the remaining uh, part. Okay. So let's move into the question. So I have already explained to you that uh, the part which is given that lambda naught, lambda naught, x minus is nearly equal to lambda naught y minus. This is actually given. Let me add lambda naught h plus here, lambda naught h plus here. See, in this question, this question at the lambda naught. In the lambda naught, the molar conductance at infinite dilution. What do you mean by infinite dilution? Where the concentration is zero. At infinite dilution, the cation and anion, the interaction between them, there is no interaction between cation and anion and they will act independently. Understand? Cation and anion act independently. So here the weak acid, it is saying that it is weak acid, weak acid. So let me add this one. According to the Kohlrausch's law, how can you write this equation? Lambda naught, lambda naught, hx, which is nearly equal to lambda naught hy. So according to Kohlrausch's law, you can write like this. Okay, from this equation, we have to derive the degree of dissociation. What is degree of dissociation? Degree of dissociation. Degree of dissociation that represents alpha. Degree of represents that represents alpha. What is alpha? Alpha is equal to molar conductance at any concentration to the molar conductance at infinite dilution. That is alpha, degree of dissociation. So for this HX weak acid, HX in the alpha, degree of dissociation. So alpha, let me call it as alpha 1. Alpha 1 equal to, how can you write it? Lambda HX divided by lambda naught HX. That is lambda naught HY alpha. Alpha 2 equal to, lambda hy divided by lambda naught hy okay so this is alpha 1 and alpha 2 of two acids in weak acid in nammal ezhudi ini idin agathu na namakku engane ezhudam lambda hx will be equal to alpha 1 into lambda naught hx okay lambda hx ezhudi 
just like that from this equation also lambda h y equal to alpha 2 into lambda naught h y alpha 2 into lambda naught h y here in this question i already told you that what is the relationship h x is h x which is 10 times 10 times dilution of h y lambda so lambda h x is equal to 10 times so what is the relationship from here from here you can write from here you can write lambda h y equal to lambda h y equal to 10 times lambda h x 10 times lambda h x Chirile. lambda h y is equal to 10 times lambda h x in the equation we will substitute this equation this portion lambda h y we will substitute this equation now we will look at 10 lambda h x will be equal to equal to Kando, lambda h y ke bagar endu oduthu 10 into lambda h x equal to alpha 2 into alpha 2 into lambda not h y Kando, lambda not h y ini nokki ke lambda h x what is given here lambda h x this is actually lambda h x so this portion you can substitute here if it is if i represent it as 1 so substitute substitute 1 here 1 okay substitute 1 here ab endo verum 10 into what is lambda hx alpha 1 into lambda not hx so that is equal to alpha 2 into lambda not hy see listen everybody here so here we know that lambda not hx and lambda not hy nearly equal so you can cancel so you will get a relationship 10 alpha 1 equal to alpha 2. This is the relationship you will get. Kando. Alpha 1 num, alpha 2 in Tamil relationship. 10 alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 in the kitty. Now you can calculate dissociation constant. What is dissociation constant? Dissociation constant that represents Ka. It is actually helps to determine the strength of the acid. So here Hx is a weak acid. So it can represent it as H plus and X minus. Initial concentration. Undissociated I to la HX in the concentration in the parina the C. Up dissociation not on the tilla. In after some time, alpha degree in the um dissociate to put up in the C into 1 minus alpha. If it in the very C alpha dissociate the poi. Angin angle namak K and the dam. K is equal to C alpha into C alpha divided by C into 1 minus alpha. Or we can write it as C square alpha square divided by C. C, C cancel. Then we C alpha square. This e denominator is 1 minus alpha. We have alpha. We have a question that alpha value is less than 1. So this denominator portion namak in the yam neglect either gala. Therefore Ka is equal to C alpha square. P K of H X on it. This ball is the namak in the dam. This ball is the namak in the dam. Ka of H Y Dale. Ka of H Y. And now where C alpha C1 alpha 2 square no order come. This is C1 alpha 1 and the work. In the take the ratio. What is the ratio? K A H X divided by K A H Y in the parayunna the C1 alpha 1 square divided by C2 alpha 2 square. C1 tannu thundu chodhithi na the concentration of H X. Ethe thandhi rikinne 0.01 into alpha 1 square. Second H Y the concentration tannu thundu what is that? 0.1 alpha 2 in the parayunna the endhanu alpha 2. Alpha 2 and the varnyal 10 alpha 1 nana. So you can substitute here 10 alpha 1 and the whole square. We then substitute even in the term alpha 1 square alpha 1 square cancel. You will get 10 power minus 3 in the term. Then you have to apply logarithm. Logarithm apply in the term log k a h x divided by k a h y equal to log 10 raised to minus 3. This is of the form log x by y. How can you write log x by y? 
log x minus log y. So, this you can write it as log k a h x minus log k a h y which is equal to this is of the form log m raised to n. How will you write log m raised to n? n log m. So, that you can write it as minus 3 log 10. What is log 10? Log 10 is 1. Then put a negative. Here also negative, here also negative, here also negative. So, negative of logarithmic k a h x. What is that? That is actually p k a. p k a. p k a h x minus negative of log k a into h y is p k b h y and this will be equal to 3 this will be equal to 3 actually this is the questions that we discussed understand p k a into h x minus p k b into h y equal to 3 so what is the answer here 3 no ki ke log k a negative of log k a in the parayana dana le negative logarithm of k a ana PKA. PKA also determine the strength of the acid. With the weak acid, dana, its value is 3. While PKA da value is lower, it will be a stronger acid. Now, if you have a question, electrochemistry connected to the Kulrash's law, its application site is degree of dissociation, dissociation constant, and the equilibrium chapter connected to the wonderful question. Aana. Uh, so, this is the correct answer to this pattern. And I hope you all understood it. And this is one of the previous year questions. If you have any uh, important or relevant questions, you can see our channel. Channel. And give a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe. And I wish you all the very best. May God bless you all.